what's the best way to stay warm in single digit temperatures? Hi, I'm Randy and I help weekend warriors make every moment count because weekends are just too short. When people hear that I love to winter camp, they always ask me, don't you freeze? And I say, no, I don't freeze. When I show you what I do to stay warm, you'll notice a theme and that is layering. Let's get started and you'll see what I mean. Everything I need to keep warm for a weekend camping getaway is kept in this bag. This is my weekend getaway bag. Let's unzip it to see what I've got inside. This is everything in my bag and what I use to stay warm. I told you how important layering is and for my base layer when it's really cold outside, I'll wear these bottoms and this top. This is a lightweight, non bulky top that's great for layering. Plus it's super comfortable and just feels really good against my skin. But more importantly, it adds a nice layer of insulation for those extra cold days. This is made by Cuddle Duds and I wear a lot of their clothing to keep me warm in the winter. We need to talk about microfleece. Microfleece is designed to capture heat and maintain it as it traps in the warmth. And on top of that, it's very soft and plush. This top and bottom I have on is made out of microfleece and it is the next layer that I put on. And guess who makes this? Yeah, you guessed it, Cuddle Duds. This is why I love Cuddle Duds so much. This micro fleece is so warm and yet so comfortable. I actually own several tops and bottoms. I'll leave links to all of these products in the video description below. So depending on how cold it is, I'll put on that first layer I showed you and then maybe this micro fleece top and bottom, but I'll also continue to layer with another micro fleece top and bottom made by Cuddle Duds. So I can have up to three layers on and not feel all bulky. Okay, next up is my insulated vest. And this insulated vest is both waterproof and windproof. Oftentimes I'll just wear this with my cuddle duds and this is all I'll need. But if it's really cold out, I've got an insulated jacket and it is also waterproof and windproof. And I put it on right over the vest. I'm not going to get cold dressed like this. The fact that it's waterproof will help me keep dry from snow and sleet. Because this jacket is also windproof, if there is a windshield, I'm going to stay warm and the windshield isn't going to affect me as much. And of course, there is a hood. And then I can get all zippered up. I like this because the zippered collar comes above my chin and keeps my neck nice and warm. This coat is made by Under Armour and it does have a synthetic material fill and it definitely has kept me warm in the winter. I'm not much of a hat person, but of course you can always wear a nice thick wool hat to keep you warm. And this one extends down past my ears so it would keep me nice and toasty warm. Or for double duty, I can put my hood on and zip myself up and I'm gonna stay nice and warm. Next up, let's talk about how to keep your feet warm. Socks made out of wool are the best thing to keep your feet warm in the cold. The floor in the RV can get cold, so I'll start with a base layer of wool socks and then I've got a nice thick pair of wool socks I'll put on over my thinned wool socks for an extra layer. When I started to use wool socks, it made a world of difference at keeping my feet warm. I think one of the best kept secrets are these wool leggings. Look at how high they come up. And because these are wool, they are water resistant and they just help insulate your legs. For boots, I wear the Sorel boots. 
One of the things that I like most about them is that they've got a um, micro fleece lining. Plus they're waterproof, which is really important to have a waterproof boot because you're gonna be in snow and you don't want your feet to get wet. These boots and my two layers of wool socks and these leggings are gonna keep my feet nice and warm. As you'd guess, I have several pair of mittens. This is my base pair of mittens. And these are my top layer gloves that I use. They're easy to get on over my base layer mitten and they're waterproof. So once again, having a waterproof mitten will stop your hands and fingers from getting wet in the snow. I like having two layers on the really cold days my hands and fingers stay nice and warm. Princess also has a nice, a thick, waterproof, windproof, insulated jacket that she wears in the winter. And you guessed it, Princey also wears layers. So she's got this lightweight pink micro fleece jacket top that she wears. And on the cold days, she'll also wear this. There's Princess, all bundled up and snugly warm and ready to go outside and play. I might have missed something, so please let me know in the video description below your comments and your favorite things to wear to keep you warm when it's cold outside. I love winter camping, and I was not going to let the cold temperature stop me from getting outdoors and enjoying the winter months. In fact, I put together a whole video playlist of some of my most epic RV winter camping adventures. I'm going to leave a link to that right over here and in the video description below. So be sure to watch that next.